Hey you! Yes, you. The weirdo standing way too close to the screen. Uh, do, do you want to draw or, or do you already know how to draw and wish to improve? Well, look no more, cause I, <laughs> your favorite Hispanic creator, will guide you through how I develop my art skills being self-taught. Yay! Before starting, I want to say that this video is sponsored and brought to you by Wink Fox. Hey, good to see your face. Uh, now, uh, if, if you if you didn't know, I consider myself uh, an, an artist and most importantly, I am self-taught. <laughs> I uh, never really wanted to invest in art school because like it, it can be way too expensive. And I didn't really have the time to add art school to my day-to-day -day schedule. But, but hey, l let me tell you how I normally improve. I do have a secret weapon that has boosted my art skills these past few months. And that is Wing Fox. Yeah, uh, you, you know it, you love it. <laughs> Wing Fox is an online art service website that if you like art, you've probably heard of. You can literally learn everything about art, like art tips, painting, 3D sculpting, and so much more. And, and you know what I, you, you want to know what's the best part, man? Um, prices. Their prices are awesome. Like, for their level of quality? Yeah. Your wallet will thank me later. <laughs> and the kind people at Wing Fox contacted me and offered a free course of my choice and told me to take a look at it. And here is where I give probably my most honest opinion. Accepting that offer was probably the best thing I did these past few months. Just to help my art skills develop into something I can actually make a living out of. The course I chose is called Searching for the Light. And there is also something incredible Wing Fox. The people who teach these art lessons aren't the actual people at, at, at Wing Fox. There are professionals in the area. You can see their work everywhere. The one who created this course is a professional in Japanese style and 2D character design called Clear. Clear made all of these amazing art pieces that even I have seen all around the internet. Now, when I first saw the course itself, it like had chapters that you could choose to start from, and you can watch them whenever you want. Uh, of course, my sleep-deprived self decided to binge watch the whole nine-hour course all at once. Not my smartest idea, huh? Anyways, uh, here are some cool things in the course I really took note of, and I'll be sharing with you. I can't share everything with you because uh, you're, you're gonna have to pay for that, <laughs> but uh, hmm. anyways. Art references and 3D poses. Literally gonna be your best friends here. Art references help you visualize better and turn your ideas into reality. And 3D poses? Like, when I saw the artist use a 3D pose in their art, it made me realize that using 3D poses is probably more effective than doing the anatomy from scratch. Because like, when you're an artist, like, and you do art for a living, you need to make your art not only have the best possible quality, but it really has to be fast and efficient. That's why you shouldn't be afraid of using 3D poses. As you can see, I, I use Plum myself. I personally use the app Magic Poser to make mine, but I really, I, re I cannot explain how much I do not recommend you use this app. They charge you for the stupidest things. Do not use this app. I only did it because I already fell down the rabbit hole. And uh, <clears throat> uh, you can see I struggled a little bit to find the right pose for my art. That's probably because I'm drawing one of my characters, Callista, from my series Arcadia A New World. And well, knowing her personality and story, I looked for the best pose I could find. After I got the pose down, I started doing my rough sketch. Kinda changing the head size and adding the hair and the eyes. A fun thing about this course I chose was that they also teach you how to draw bubbles and use lighting properly. So after I finished my sketch, I tried laying out where I wanted the bubbles to be and started doing my line art. <laughs> okay, before you ask me in the comments why I did the line art two times, well, I am a perfectionist, okay? And the first line art I did was a little, uh, it wasn't given what it was supposed to be giving. But when I finished the second try at line art, I was pretty satisfied. Not gonna lie to y'all, I have never tried like grayscale to color shading. I've always been so scared and never knew how to actually do it, but when I saw how it worked on the course and I tried it out myself, boy did it turn out hot. 
Uh, as you can see, I freaked out like halfway through the gray shading or whatever you call it, because I, like I, I because it just didn't. I, I was I was scared. Okay, so I decided to see how I would look color to ease my anxiety and. <laughs> Whoa! Would you look at that? It's working. <laughs> Then I finished the shading, added color to the line art, freaked out again because the color just wasn't working. Then fixed the dead color so now it looks bright and pretty. Fixed the eyes and after adding the lighting came the fun part. Yep, you know them, you love them, bubbles. I use like the entire 40 minutes of the specific chapter in this course that teaches you how to draw bubbles because like, I'm dumb, I just could not do it by myself. and. You know, it, it was fun learning up in the in the course. Like it, it was very fun. It was a nice way to learn, and the bubbles turned out looking so cool. They were literally the main character of this entire art piece. Then I learned to do like like the reflection thing. I don't know how to call it. I just know that in my script I put reflection thingy and light thingy. So I uh, you know like the thing from the water and and sun because the sun exists and. After adding a few more bubbles and blurring some stuff, the piece was finally done. Now, tell me that doesn't look cool. Tell me that does not look cool. And it's also such an upgrade for my password. And I really hope you guys found it useful in some way. Sorry if I couldn't explain it all, but if you want to learn all about it, go check out Wing Fox. I mean, they sponsored this video, so that like automatically makes them cool. And you know what's even cooler? Add discount code. Heck yeah, you know it. I give you, I give all of you the best quality out there. So I am also saving your wallets from, you know, <laughs> evaporating. Because if you use the code SS25, you will get a smoking hot 25% off whatever course you want to learn. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful rest of the day. And if you guys learned something from a Wing Fox course and decided to make an art piece, make sure to tag me because I really want to see what you guys come up with. Uh, have a wonderful day, night, or afternoon, and I guess I'll see you all on the next one. Adios!